Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, today I'll be showing you how you can optimize your NVIDIA control panel to run any game without lags and freezes and at much higher FPS than usual. And it doesn't matter whether you have a newer NVIDIA graphic card or an old one because I myself while recording this video I had a, an old graphic card that is GT1030 and still I get around 350 to 500 FPS in Valorant on medium high settings and around 100 plus FPS in GTA 5 and 60 to 90 FPS in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on high settings. So uh, watch the video till the end and if this video helps then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure to press the bell icon and select all because around 97 to 98% of you are subscribed to the channel so uh, make sure to subscribe well that being said let's start the video so uh, first of all we need to update our graphics card and for that you need to open your web browser and search for nvidia graphic drivers or you can just go to the link in the description so uh, put all the information that is required for your graphic card to be filled here and once it is done just hit search I won't be downloading the update because I have already updated my graphic card as you can see in the GeForce experience. In the driver section as you can see. Close the GeForce experience and right click go to NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so uh, adjust image settings with preview. So here you can see all the options and whenever you click on them, you will see the description below. So you can choose whether you want that option to be checked or not. Here we'll be selecting the second option. You can read all the description below. Hit apply and afterwards go to manage 3D settings. Now make sure to have the exact same preferences like me By dragging the slider you can adjust the sharpness um, But for now I will keep it off because I don't think I need to do it Ambient occlusion should be off and the aligning FXAA and all that stuff is better application controlled Now here, low latency mode, you can just turn it on if you face input lag, but turning this on will eat up some FPS. Now FPS limit, 1000 FPS is more than enough, but if you think you can get 2000 or 3000 FPS, then okay, keep it off. Now uh, select your graphic card in the OpenGL rendering. In the power options, select performance obviously. But yeah, my PC is doing fine so I don't need to but if you think you can just go ahead. In texture filtering, select high performance. 
and the rest is fine just hit apply the physics processor should be a graphic card so select the graphic card from the drop down and hit apply Now, if you want to make your games look more colorful, you might be knowing about digital vibrance. So this is how you can change the digital vibrance. I will show you, but first have a look at this. So on the right hand side, it is the digital vibrance and on the left hand side, it's the original game without any digital vibrance. You can move the digital vibrance slider right or left. If you take it to the right, the colors will become more bright and if you take it to the left, it will become more black and white. I can see the color changing but in this video recorder, nothing is visible but when you will do it yourself, you will see the difference. So if you want to make your games look colorful as in the images, you can set digital vibrance to around 80 to 85 and the gamma to around 0.8 or 0.9. And don't set digital vibrance to 100% because that's gonna hurt your eyes really bad. So once this is done, just hit apply. But I don't need to make my games that colorful, so I'm not doing it. Uh, in the scaling section, if you select aspect ratio, that's gonna stretch the image to fit your desktop. And in most cases, there might be black bars for some games. And in full screen, it is gonna stretch basically it's gonna do the same thing but maybe not black bars you might select no scaling if you like but for me aspect ratio is doing fine so I'm not changing it in the video color settings you will be able to decide the color range of your display or the images that you are seeing what is the color range of it now here just click with the nvidia settings and in the advanced tab Open the drop down and select full. 16 to 235 is the limited range and 0 to 255 is the full range, which will make visibility better in the darker and lighter areas in game. In the adjust video image settings, you can have a look on this piece of information and then you can check the NVIDIA settings if you prefer, but I don't, so that's your choice. In case if you mess up with the settings, you can just hit restore defaults here to set back everything to what it used to be. So other than the control panel, what you can do is just right click, go to the display settings and scroll down a bit, you will see graphic settings. Here you will see the browse option below. You can just hit browse and select any game you want. For example, hold on, I'll be selecting Hitman Absolution in this case. Now go to the option settings and choose high performance here. Go to the link in the description and download GeForce Experience. Then you will see all the games that you have on your PC. If you have details, GeForce Experience is gonna tell you on what settings you can play this game, what are optimal according to your PC, so that you can change the settings and get better performance.
now something more go to the start section and type power settings on the right hand side click additional power settings and hold on let me set this to never and this one too never okay so go to additional power settings here you can choose the best performance that suits you like you can see AMD Ryzen high performance or the ultimate performance but for me balanced plan is doing fine so I'm not changing it but if you want to get more or higher FPS you can just choose ultimate performance